uh, Little Theater is having a little bit of an issue, but I'm going to try to get this movie playing, and then we'll then we'll get going. Oh, so your mic is not loud enough? Can can audio? Hey hey, I, can someone give tech support? Why isn't my movie playing? Audio. That uh, comes to us from our designer in North Macedonia, so it's really uh, awesome to see that. And he designed all the t-shirts and the logo and everything, Stefan. Wish you were here. Um, welcome, everybody, to A New Hope. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we're calling it A New Hope is because it is a new beginning, a new chapter. Um, how many, I can barely see people with the lights, but how many of you were at the first hope in 1994? A good, a good number, a handful, but a good handful. Cool, and of course I was there. Yeah. Let me tell you, that conference, um, one thing we knew when we started the conference was that it was impossible. And the reason it was impossible was because everybody told us that. Uh, it was, you know, we, we, had, we had gone to, um, a, a number of us had gone to the Netherlands um, where they make it all seem so easy and fun. And all we ever heard was how that could never happen in the States. That could never happen in New York. They'd never let you do it. So we decided to do it anyway and see what happened. Fortunately for us, there was this cheap-ass hotel called Hotel Pennsylvania that allowed us to actually do it. And we had the first conference, first hacker conference in the United States with over a 1,000 people back in 1994. Um, and the rest is history until... Uh, we, um, uh, we reached 2019 when we tried to uh, plan for 2020 at Hotel Pennsylvania. That's when we were told by them that their prices had tripled because we had helped them save the hotel from destruction and rebuild it. So now, now uh, they were going to charge more premium rates. Um, tripling the price would have meant that um, a lot of you couldn't have made it and we knew that was unacceptable. We don't want to be one of these thousand dollar a person uh, conferences. Um, so we started looking for alternatives. And look what we found. We found this place. <laughs> and apparently so did you. So <laughs> welcome to St. John's. We love the campus. It's beautiful. The people here have been great, uh, uh, just helping us in every way. Uh, and um, we uh, plan to have a fantastic conference here in 2020. But there was a complication in, in the form of a global pandemic that uh, prevented us from doing a in-person conference in 2020. We had a great digital, uh, you know, virtual conference. The whole 2020 was uh, a nine-day event, which we had a lot of fun with. Um, but we, uh, we really wanted to give this place a try because we saw it as a new chapter back then. Um, so uh, we had to postpone till 2022, and that's where we are now. And you know, kind of, um, uh, you know, a, a karma type of a thing. Uh, Hotel Pennsylvania, which tripled its prices and gave us the middle finger, they're currently being demolished. Uh, no, no, don't applaud. Don't, I'm not happy about that because even if, it's, even if we're not there, I still believe that the building should have been preserved. And I think there are a bunch of idiots for, for tearing it down and replacing it with a, a skyscraper. But there's only so much we can do. We helped save it for 10 years, and that's something. This is a new chapter. This is a new hope. This is our new hope. And um, what you guys do, the experiences you guys have, you're going to be determining uh, our future, whether or not we do this again here, uh, whether or not we expand. This place is, is you know, there is so much we can do here. 
Uh, we can have a conference 10 times the size easily in this, in this area. Uh, we're only using one building right now, but um, we could be much bigger. We don't necessarily want to be much bigger, but we could be. Um, it's a tough period because the world is traumatized. We've lost so much. We've been through so much. Um, and there's a lot of division out there. I hope during this weekend we can be the exception to that. We can take care of each other, look out for each other. Hey, you might see, you know, your worst enemy here. And if you do, you know, either give them a nod or just pass by and, you know, avoid each other, whatever. This is not the place for... Um, or so speakers, workshop folks, um, uh, virtual attendees, and people that are checking out the live stream. This is impossible. Thank you. <laughs> Believe it. Um, I'm not going to dwell on these, but we do have some campus maps downstairs. You're here, you know how to get here, or you're in the little theater, or you're in the simulcast room, you know how you got here. We have in the program, the printed conference program, if you didn't get one, pick it up downstairs. Uh, fourth floor is main track one, and 
may contain hackers. We're doing live streaming of the Dutch camp, which is, I guess, impossible. I mean, yeah, we're doing it again with the Dutch. We did. We tried this in 1997, and it, it was it was terrible. We couldn't connect at all. So we're going to try it again. This, they're having a, a camp, a hacker camp, at the same time we're having a hacker conference. So it's mm -hmm. it's really pretty incredible and cool because they inspired us to do the first hope. The Dutch, not these people, but the Dutch people in general, and. Um, Hopefully we inspire each other now. Yeah, it's amazing. So we'll have their streams in a room up the hall in level four. We also have a fishbowl or a simulcast room, so you'll be, you can walk in and have live interaction with people in the Dutch camp. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Also on the fourth floor will be continuous hacker videos uh, uh, curated by Lex Icon, fantastic collection. So if you're looking for something to do and not sure what to do or want a place to sit, uh, hacker videos. Third floor, all workshops all the time. Uh, workshops, soldering, hacker spaces, um, uh, mostly three simultaneous tracks. Mitch will talk about that a little bit. That's mostly of, of uh, level three. Also, coffee house uh, space for the fourth track. And uh, also, your security desk is there. So if you're just looking for a security person, that's where they um, uh, will be stationed. Uh, second level, where everyone came in, registration, everyone knows that. Uh, we also have uh, uh, track three, which is room 206. We have a volunteer hangout, so if you volunteer, you get chips, stuff like that. <laughs> um, uh, vendors, as we mentioned, and, uh, and also the Network Operations Center. Network is amazing. We're using the St. John's network, but we layered our own SSID over it. So that we're using a VLAN provided by, uh, by St. John's. They have 40 gigabit uplink, so use more bandwidth. And you um, want to tell people the password? I have a slide for that. It was, it was on oh, the info beamer before, sorry. but yeah, it's um. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, hope, well, hope lowercase hope, hope, not like hope we do twenty twenty two is the password. The SSID is new hope hyphen secure with a little uppercase lowercase in there, but the password is is um, hope twenty twenty two lowercase, uh, and you can all also use the SJU guest network. Um, two very quick reminders, and then we'll get into a very brief program summary, and then we'll. Uh, uh, be almost ready to sum up. So um, it's hot out. Be excellent to one another. This is the code of conduct. We expect a lot of attendees. We expect even more of volunteers. We have a, um, let's say, better, more mature way of dealing with sort of issues and stuff like that. We hope we don't get to test that a whole lot. But uh, we, we do want everybody here to be a participant in the excellence and being excellent to one another. Thank you. Uh, it's hot out there. Stay hydrated. There are water fountains throughout the building, and um, uh, you know, d don't forget to drink, please. Um, uh, enjoy as much of the program as you can. This is going all through the overnights. There's three tracks of this, three tracks of that, all kinds of other things. Get the most that you can out of it, and uh, um, uh, also try not to be impatient if you don't get to see something that, that you wanted to see. Uh, and also, okay, so I don't know if anyone has seen one of these. <laughs> so it has this design that lets it go over the nose part as well as the mouth part. Amazing. Right? So, so everyone is here. They went through proof of vax. Everyone is here because they preferred to have a conference where they could be confident that other people were masking and that they would be keeping each other Greg, more safe from it, like life. this? No, not like that, no. <laughs> no, Further no. up? A little up, okay. a little up, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so this was, you know, we're a private organization doing a private event on a private campus. We make the rules and it was loud and clear that what attendees wanted was to have a feeling of safety. We're in a time of surge, you know, you know all this stuff. So. Let's do each other a favor, and unless you're on stage or eating or drinking, um, uh, let's wear the mask and let's gently remind each other if a little mask protocol needs to be, uh, needs to be improved. Yeah, you might see some confused St. John's students wandering around that aren't wearing masks. If you do, just you know, remind them that it's safer to wear a mask, especially around us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tell them you'll catch a computer virus otherwise. Um, <laughs> But they're new, you know, they're young, uh, be, be gentle, um, and uh, they'll get the message, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yep. so thanks for being part of that. Thanks for going along with it, because we know it's difficult for some people. It's not ideal, 
but it's the best thing that we can do for each other, and that's what we're trying to do here at A New Hope. Uh, last uh, uh, couple of points here on a couple of don'ts. So there's no smoking. This is a non-smoking indoors situation. This is a dry campus. No alcohol, no drugs. They're pretty strict about it. Um, the conference will not intervene if you are uh, ejected because you're not uh, adhering to those rules. So, uh, so please uh, act accordingly. Um, we have a code of conduct uh, that says, among other things, primarily be excellent to each other. It also says no harassment, no intimidation, no stalking, no unwanted or inappropriate photography, things like this. Don't bother other people. If you feel like you're in a situation where uh, someone is is doing something that violates a code of conduct, you're going to speak with anyone with a radio, anyone with an all-access badge, anyone in a uniform, anyone at the security desk, and they'll help to get your uh, issue to where it needs to go. Um, and don't take yourself too seriously. This is fun, right? This is supposed to be. And we sure um, don't. <laughs> it's supposed to be a great event. Uh, uh, Mitch, tell us about workshops for for uh, a minute or two. Workshops. There are a lot of workshops. Let me uh, just get some notes. Um, yeah, so like everything else, all the presenters, all the speakers, all of the people putting all of this on are volunteers. And there are a lot of people who've been volunteering to put on some amazing workshops. So thank you for everyone here who's doing that. And we'll have two virtual workshops that are only a half hour long uh, that are kind of interesting about mindfulness and health. The other workshops are very diverse. We have a whole room devoted to ones making physical things. I'll be giving workshops on that, uh, like about Arduino, about music synthesis, and uh, lighting things up with cool colors. So uh, there's about freedom of information, which is happening up next, uh, about how to do cool things with Wi-Fi that other people might not think are so cool sometimes. But um, uh, Think Like a Hacker is also happening today. For people who are new here, you might want to check that out because uh, Gus is uh, very experienced in thinking like a hacker and she'll be sharing stuff there. Uh, stuff about remote hardware, like if there's places in the world that don't have cool hardware that is easily available to us, they can access it remotely. There's a workshop on that. and there's all sorts of other workshops. There's also a room, the hardware hacking area room, that is totally open and unscheduled. We've got a bunch of tools in there. Feel free to rearrange that room and do whatever you want in there, as long as you're excellent to one another, of course. And if you want, um, come by that room and just spontaneously I can show you how to solder. I've got some inexpensive kits, uh, ones that blink and ones that can turn televisions off in public places, because for some reason they're still on. Um, what else? There's performances as well. Uh, DJ Spock from Berlin has been organizing that, and he'll be doing a DJ set, and other people will be doing DJ sets. And uh, there's Dent Glass, who did the music for uh, Hope 2022, or Hope, Hope 2020, um, the online one, and he's going to be doing a live set. There's going to be demo scene stuff. There's going to be Minecraft used as a, a musical instrument, all sorts of amazing things. So check that out as well. And, and again, as Greg briefly mentioned, there's an unscheduled track that anyone can go and give a, a performance, a talk, uh, act like an idiot, whatever you want to do in front of other people uh, at the coffee house. So make use of all this. This is your conference. Thanks, Mitch. Incredible. So, um, so, so much to do. And in addition, there are over 70 talks, three simultaneous tracks, more or less going from 10 or 11 in the morning till midnight. Um, and uh, there's an app where you can get the schedule. You have the printed schedule. Printed schedule is, has been superseded by reality. Uh, but it's pretty close. But do do check the online schedule, and uh, we have some posted around uh, the site as well for the uh, the latest updates on the. Oh, uh, one on the other talks. thing, um, there is one person who is an incredible workshop presenter who had four three-hour workshops, and he caught COVID and couldn't come from California. So, if other people want to give um, workshops fitting in those time slots, let me know, and uh, we can put your cool stuff so you can share it with other people. Yeah, you can expect a few schedule changes because of reasons like that. I've never seen so many um, uh, situations change so quickly. Uh, so people are catching COVID, but 
also there's all kinds of automobile problems I, like on a scale I've never witnessed either. Uh, flat tires, blown up engines, uh, all, and, and of course canceled planes everywhere. Uh, those of you who traveled here probably experienced some of that. Um, so there will be some changes and they'll be uh, marked on the uh, program, uh, the uh, announcement board in between programs, in between talks. Uh, so that's where we'll be updating Thanks. things. Yeah, the, uh, the online program via www.hope.net is the canonical updated program. So we're keeping that up to date. Um, yeah, and we talked about uh, the coffee house. And like I said, we'll try to get sign-up sheets uh, down at info desk by around 1 p.m. this afternoon. And that's basically an open mic situation. Um, okay, we talked about performances a little bit. They're going to be fantastic. They're going to keep you up late also. That's exciting. By the way, MCH, I don't know if people know this, uh, Central European time, it's ahead of us by a little bit. So if you're up and around at 3 or 4 in the morning and want something to do, go and op watch the opening of the Must Make It yeah, Happen. Every day of MCH starts at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, and on this floor. So you can actually go to a track of MCH and, and stay in there. And it'll, it'll run until midnight their time, which is about 6 p.m. our time. So two conferences in one. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and it just so happens that the last DJ ends at 4 a.m. There you go. How do we do that? <laughs> Don't stop. Who needs sleep? <laughs> um, we talked about contests already, so Hacker Karaoke, no sign-ups. Capture the Flag opens uh, this afternoon. It's in the schedule. And, um, uh, and Hacker's Got Talent is uh, tomorrow evening. And I believe we're going to have sign-ups for that. We'll talk with Jason about that afterwards. He's, he's on stage now. Are we going to have sign-ups for hackers or just have open? I, I kind of felt like just show up was probably OK. You're live. I'll, I'll be live over here. Sure. Jason Scott, everyone. Hello. <laughs> hey, good morning, sweethearts. So you are a very special breed of hacker. You are a kind of hacker who looks at a Friday morning 11 o'clock meeting and does not immediately go back to sleep. <laughs> that means that for whatever realm of that, you are probably scientifically either the most responsible ones or at least the ones who are somewhat together. So let's please be the seed for this wonderful event. Uh, due to the events that have happened over the past four years, we have ripped up a very old and very lovely tree and planted it in Queens, a location that is not always known for its flourishing environment, but we have a chance here to create something that could become a jewel of Queens in a place where the neighborhood and the people look forward to our yearly visit. I think that would be very lovely. I run something called Hackers Got Talent, which is proof once again that you are all not just people staring at screens, but have a wide variety of love and intelligence. And I, I'm always surprised every year what your interpretation of that is. So please, Get over that hump. If you've ever been to a previous one, you know the bar is very, very low. <laughs> and, 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 and I do want to say just one, one, one last thing, if I may, Emmanuel, which was, you know, I don't, I mean, I, don't, I come from a certain school. I was at the first, or not first, I was first year of the uh, 2600 meetings back then. I fucking love the era where I pull up to a convenience store, put on a mask, and walk in, <laughs> and everyone's fine with it. And I walk past the 97 cameras. You can do that in a bank too. My business. You can go into a bank with a mask on. That's that's fun. Oh, what a wonderful time this is! <laughs> I cannot believe that an entire realm of people are like, no, see my face, Panopticon of the government. <laughs> so anyway, dress. It has been. 80 years since an acceptable new male accessory has joined the clothing <laughs> spectrum. So please take advantage of it. Thank you. On the subject, on the subject of Queens, where we all are now, this is the most diverse county in the country that you are in. Take advantage of that. Uh, if, you, if you go to Union Turnpike uh, exit um, or gate six, make a right turn, there's all kinds of amazing restaurants on that street. Um, the biggest Chinatown in New York City is uh, about a mile or two away in Flushing. Uh, take some time, go over there, just enjoy the place. This is, this is an awesome borough, an awesome county to be in. So maybe... Yeah, don't touch it, that's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> so, so to keep the sense of surprise, Jason, I think we're saying no sign-ups, just show up for uh, Hackers Got Talent. 
Yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's, what, I think that's, that's, that's what, what I got out of it. I think that's what I, think that's what I heard from just, the Just show up, right? That, you're saying just show up to Hackers Got Talent. Yeah, just show up. We'll make it work. Thank you. Bring your talent. All right. Um, we talked about these. Oh, I didn't mention um, IoT Village, Internet of Things Village. That's also going on. It's in the program. The other items here I, I mentioned before. Fantastic stuff. Most of these are long-running activities. Um, for virtual stuff, uh, this is a little bit confusing. Uh, and if you're just entirely in person, you might decide to opt out. But we have a matrix chat, and we have, and matrix is just a free uh, public chat system, a little like IRC, more modern. Um, but we have a private area. So with your ticket, whether it's a virtual ticket or an in-person ticket, you have a code, and follow the instructions on wiki.hope.net to get a matrix uh, login if you don't already have one send a, the code to a bot, and the bot will then let you into the conference rooms. And this is where you can send questions to InfoDesk. This is where you can send questions to each and every track, which will be um, uh, if someone is paying attention, which I'm not right now, excuse me. But if someone is paying attention to the Matrix chat, then you can send in questions for the, uh, you know, for the, for the speakers. And also um, just general open discussion. So the Matrix chat is, is you know, the cornerstone of the virtual program. The other thing that's really cool is um, uh, Mozilla Hubs. So the uh, Mozilla Hubs is essentially a virtual environment that you can interact with. We did both of these things in 2020. I'm sure a lot of people here were part of this for the virtual program. Uh, the Hubs in 2022 is astounding. So just check it out just to see the beauty. Uh, and it's good to do with a fast network connection as well. But in the Mozilla Hub, you can interact with other people. You can also view these streams. They're pulling in the same live stream that's going out uh, uh, now on campus into the world, you can also view those streams in the hub. So two pretty cool aspects of the virtual uh, program, uh, and encourage you to check that out. Hey, um, and also, if you end up in a simulcast room, then uh, which I know some people are right now, that's your way of interacting with the uh, with the audience. Which, like I said, right now we're not for this session. We're not set up to do Q and A, but for most of the other sessions, they will be. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I just want to mention there is a wiki, wiki.hope.net, and make use of it. Every workshop has its page. A bunch of talks have created pages for themselves. And if you want to create page or pages, uh, you can create an account there and do that. So, um, and as always, be excellent to each other, even on the wiki. Even on the wiki. Um, uh, I mentioned this just brief, briefly before in your program. It has it 416 right up the hall. We'll have a simulcast. I'm not sure that it does right now. We're 416. Oh. This is 416. I'm sorry. I, I uh, typoed that, didn't I? It's uh, 4 411, I think, yeah. 411, yeah, I typoed that. 411 has a simulcast just up the hall, in the next room up the hall. Um, also, we'll be doing some simulcast back and forth uh, like we are now with opening session. We'll have the keynote uh, discussion also uh, simultaneously, multiple locations. Uh, we talked about MCH simulcast. Just say a special hi to Little Theater right now. Yeah, thank you. You guys are cool. You're, you're kind of far away, but you're cool. Thank you. And and if you guys here go down to Little Theater because that's a whole track and it's it's a pretty nice venue. Yeah, it's a beautiful room actually. Um, uh, we are not going to read the code of conduct. We mentioned it just before. Um, the code of conduct is not about your fighting, your bleeding, your your um, uh, uh, you know, engaged in criminal behavior that is, uh, you know, a problem here. It is about uh, the softer issues, about uh, harassment, intimidation, bothering. And just like I think a lot of us know about harassment is what someone is doing might be experienced differently by the person that it's being done to. So the code of conduct is really about being excellent to one another, about that uh, uh, recipient of the behavior being able to, in our case, uh, do something about it. And what you can do about it, of course, you can have a discussion, but what you can do is find, as I said before, one of the conference uh, people, anyone wearing a green volunteer shirt, anyone with a, with a uh, radio, anyone wearing a uniform, and ask to, uh, you know, to have a discussion about the situation. So that's where we're at with code of conduct. And uh, internally, we have somewhat of an escalation procedure, if you're in a situation where you're trying to have a discussion and the answer is, let's go and talk to this other person, please be patient with that, because we do have some uh, uh, experts in things like de-escalation and intervention and, and also first aid and that sort of thing. So, uh, so we ask a lot. We ask a lot of our attendees. We ask a lot of our volunteers. And we don't ask for 
enforcement. We don't ask for getting tough with each other. We don't ask for, for um, uh, being stern with each other. We ask for being gentle and guiding the type of behavior that you're hoping to exhibit. So we ask a lot, and we hope that by asking this and putting it right up here in the slides, that that's what's going to happen this weekend. Uh, we can all do that. We can. I just want to mention what, uh, some of what I was talking about in detail. You'll see them around. Operation Hammond is uniformed in green. They are experts in de-escalation and first aid as well, a lot of EMTs. Uh, they also are the folks that checked your proof of vaccination, so you actually, all of you met some of them. Uh, they are a, uh, an independent group that we are partnering with for this conference, and we think they're going to do an excellent, uh, excellent job. Uh, there's a security team. They're wearing blue shirts this year. They almost always will have a radio. Uh, these are mostly about perimeter, you know, checking badges, uh, making sure people aren't where they're not supposed to be, and uh, physical safety. But again, they can uh, bring issues where they need to be brought. And then we also have campus public safety. They, I think, will be uniformed. They might have polo shirts, but they'll have, you know, St. John's, they'll have lanyards. Uh, these are the, the campus um, security folks. But they also are integrated with our whole response system and able to address a variety of issues. So just to say who's who here, as an attendee, as someone with an issue, go to the first person you find or go to the room 301, the security dispatch area, and we'll, we'll get you to someone to, to, uh, you know, to address what's going on. Okay, so as I, as I think you can see, I think this is obvious. We've thought a lot about this. We've worked a lot about it, uh, worked a lot on it. We're putting it into action now. We'll see how it works. Maybe we'll make some adjustments. Uh, but we are very, very robustly interested and focused on wellness and an enjoyable event for everybody here. Cool. All right. So we're just about out of time. So, so um, uh, yeah, again, uh, reminders, uh, masks. Uh, remember that we're all volunteers. No one's working. If uh, things aren't up to your expectation, that's unfortunate, but it doesn't mean that, uh, um, you know, you paid for a particular talk or you had great expectations. It might not all work out. So we have to be patient about that. Um, there are cameras everywhere on campus. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many people have noticed this. There's <laughs> cameras uh, by the elevators, there's cameras by every door, there's cameras in the classrooms, there's cameras in the hallways. Um, so be aware of that and don't do anything that you wouldn't want to be on the campus security. Camera. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. They'll come back on all of us. Um, we want to also mention that uninvited photography is a code of conduct issue. Um, group crowd shots, taking pictures of the, of the, um, the venue, taking pictures of the uh, facilities is all okay. Um, but uh, if you're taking pictures of other people, that's where you should have permission or be in a clearly public uh, situation. Um, last item here almost is how to volunteer. There's a website, volunteer.hope.net. You can sign up for shifts. You can stop by the info desk. Info desk will guide you on how to volunteer. We need a lot of volunteers. We're pretty good today, but tomorrow is looking, looking like we can use some more volunteers. Uh, MCs, info desk, um, uh, security team, AV team, and a couple other uh, areas as well. So volunteering is welcome. Great way to uh, get to meet people. We talked about Wi-Fi already. There's the, uh, there's the codes, HOPE2022, lowercase. Um, and uh, may contain hackers. We are going to do a joint opening. We're going to try this again? I think maybe, maybe they're having a harder time getting their stream started than we were. So we're not going to uh, uh, have a joint Zoom call or something like that. They said oh. they, were, they were trying to put out fires, and we realized, you know, that's a term that we use a lot too, but they're at a campground. They might actually be putting out fires, so we don't know. <laughs> We're trying to make contact, and we will connect down the hall with them on a constant basis, but uh, maybe not right now. Indeed, and we, right. wish, and we wish them the best, and we know that they wish us the best, all attendees, and, uh, and they have a fantastic program as well, which we're broadcasting. They're, uh, we didn't mention this. They're broadcasting us yes. as well. Hopefully they have they're all of our three talk streams up in, uh, in uh, different rooms. Hey, Netherlands, how you doing? Hey, hey. Give Netherlands a big cheer, guys. Yeah. 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 All right. If you've never been there, it's, a, it's an awesome place to visit. We are just about at the end of our time. If there's a pressing thing or something I really didn't mention, first panelists, 
then otherwise, anyone have anything? Just yell out because we'll, we won't take time to pass the mic. Is there anything that maybe I missed or any any sort of burning questions? How do you connect to Mozilla Hubs? Mozilla Hubs go to the uh, wiki and the URL is in there, wiki.hope.net. And all you have and to do is click on based. it. Yeah, just click on it. What was that? Just click you on it. All right. Any, anything else? No, we, we didn't do Slack. We chose Matrix. You know, we looked into a couple of different technologies, and we chose Matrix in 2020, and it worked well for us. We're, we're in Matrix. It worked so well, we decided to do it again. Yeah, See, and actually, we had really good support from the company as yeah, well. Yeah, they were awesome. .io. Yeah. The, main, the main app is Element. Yeah. yeah, Matrix is a protocol, and the software is Element. So yeah. it, it can be a little bit confusing, but uh, they changed some of the naming around that. I just Thanks. want to add, thank you everyone for sticking with us from the, the organizing groups. Uh, we're going to be out of breath thanking people afterwards, but I want to thank everyone for attending, for getting a ticket, showing up, helping out, oh. and, and just uh, being great, great people. And uh, you're welcome to have a lot of fun, and, uh, and please do. Have a good time. Right. Stay hydrated. We're done. Thank you. Thank you.